What's up? Detroit Pistons, dog. I'm going to tell you my point of view on the Pistons right now. I know I haven't really made no Pistons videos like after the games or whatnot, but I've been watching the Pistons, trust me. I've been watching the Pistons a lot this year when I get a chance to because some of their games come on when I'm at work. So I can't. I don't have time to be watching the Pistons. Every time I, I'm at work, I can't watch the ads. So I, I'm either doing this or I'm at work, you know. So the Pistons, um, this so far this season, man. This seat, this um, this year, this in particular, this year in the NBA, be kind of weak. Like the Western Conference isn't that strong this year. The Eastern Conference isn't that strong this year. It's just been a weak year for the NBA, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's just been a weak year in general. But I'm gonna tell you the good things about the Pistons, though. Andre Drummond. That dude is probably one of the best offensive rebounders I ever seen. This guy, he will have a game like 18 points and 25 rebounds or something like that. It was one game he had like 29 rebounds and 32 points or something like that. And like three blocks. That dude was a fucking monster. Andre Drummond is by far the best center in the NBA. I don't care what nobody say. He's the best center in the NBA. Another good thing. Um, I think Reggie Jackson, he came in here. He start. He he been a good point guard for us so far this year. Been a good point guard, but it's some. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute about him. Talk about a few things that I don't like about him. But he 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 had a good year so far. Like far, this is best year of his career by far. Now, he's the fourth quarter. Um point guard that dude comes up in the fourth quarter i'm not surprised that he didn't make the all-star game this year they say he wasn't ever since he got that player of year award i'm i'm just going to that in a minute marcus morris um he's he's a good stretch for you know what i'm saying he's a good wing man he can hit that three that's what i like about him that's why they got him so so the Pistons can stretch the floor. I, I like what Stan Van Gundy, um, I like what his plans are with this team so far. Yellow result, um, Issa and Yellow is over. Um, he's a pretty good three point shooter. I like him. They use him to stretch the floor, you know, because you can't have, see, that's why they got rid of Greg Monroe, where well, they let him walk because they needed a forward that could stretch the floor, and Yellow is over can do that. Um, yeah. Now, Stanley Johnson, this guy, he puts in good effort on defense. I like, I like his effort. You know what I'm saying? I like his effort. And then sometimes on offense, he, he has a good night, you know? Um, Catavius Caldwell Pope, I like him. He's, he reminds me of a younger Rip Hamilton. A, a more athletic version of Rip Hamilton. That's who you remind me of. That's exactly who you remind me of because he got a jumper. That dude could shoot that boy. But another thing about him, this dude, his defense got way better this year. I mean, like, way better. I, <laughs> it, it has gotten way better since his rookie season to now. His defense got way better. He played a wing, he played a, um, the wing better. So I like that. Stan Van Gundy, he put these, he trying to put these boys in position to win. Now, here's the bad. Here's the bad about this team now. I know the Pistons, we are 23 and 21 right now as a record. The Pistons, they're, I think they lost their last four out of six games right now. So it's not <laughs> it's not looking good right now to keep that seven seed. I told people if the Pistons do make it to the playoffs. They're going to be a 7 or 8 seed. Some people are saying a, a 3 seed or a 4 seed. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about that. I say a 7 or 8 seed. Maybe 6 at, at the very best. At the, at the very best, the 6 seed. Now, the Pistons, the bad things about this team, man. I'm going to be honest with you. This team is too inconsistent. Like, the consistency is not there. Like, 
all over the floor. Andre Drummond, good as he is, we already know what his problem is. Teams doing it all the time, and that's hacker uh, hacker Drummond. That's what they doing. This dude been the worst free throw shooter in January. His free throw percentage in January will. <laughs> He had, I know he missed over half his free throws. He shooting like, they said he was shooting like, what, 30% from the free throw line in January? That's shit. That's fucking terrible. That's fucking terrible. People are like, well, Shaq was a bad free throw shooter. Yes, he was. However, <laughs> it was it was times, but Shaq shot at least 50% from the free throw line. At least 50. This motherfucker shooting 30% right now. From the free throw line in January. But this season he only shooting 40%. That dude free throw shooting is fucking terrible. He needs to get better at that. If he wanna if he wanna get his game, if he wanna raise up to the next level, he gotta get a post game, a better post game, and a and a more reliable free throw shot. Because his free throw that's why team that's why the Pistons always take him out of the game. Like in the fourth quarter, because he can't shoot free throws for shit, and you know teams gonna try to foul his ass. That's see Andre Drummond. His stats could be even better than what they are, but they taking him out the fourth quarter because he can't shoot a fucking free throw. They gotta put Baines' garbage ass in there. I don't, I don't like Baines like that. He fucking suck. <laughs> so does Anthony Tolliver. He fucking blow, but <laughs> he could, uh, he's an get occasional good three point shooter. But fuck it. Anyway. Andre Drummond, he need an improvement on that shit in the offseason. He need I don't know if it's him being nervous. It's not his release or nothing. It's his, I don't know if it's him being nervous at the line or what it is. But he need to snap out of that shit. If the Pitch is gonna make a playoff run, he has to shoot better for the free throw line. Period. He has to. Eat. And you know he's gonna have to be in the full quarter. He's gonna have to be in the game in the full quarter. So if they wanna play in the playoffs like that. So, next thing, Yulif Sova. I don't like his pump faking. He always try to fucking pump fake. That shit gets on my fucking nerves. He'll be open as fuck and still pump fake the fucking ball. <laughs> and he's soft as fuck on defense. He's soft as shit. He need to get more physical. <laughs> I don't like him. I know they got him from the Bucks and shit, but get, man, get the fuck out of here with that shit, dog. <laughs> he get on my nerves with that shit. You got then you got <laughs> you got Mark, uh, Marcus Morris. Mm, he uh, all I gotta say about him is his defense can get better, in my opinion. Even though I think he's a solid small forward, but I think he can improve on his game. Honestly. <sighs> Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, yeah. They bought Brandon Jennings. That's a good thing. Um, Caldwell Pope. Good as he been. I think Caldwell, I mean, all you need to do is just um, improve on his game a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Because I know he can shoot the ball, but his jumper isn't always there. That's what I'm going to say about that. It, when he's off, when KCP is off, he's really off. Just like the next man, Reggie Jackson. Like, like I, good things I was saying about him when we won that player of the um, week award ever since that shit. He haven't been the same, man. This dude, and not, he only plays in the full quarter to me. I, I mean, I'm mad as fuck. I'm kind of, I mean, I like Reggie Jackson, but $80 million. For a guy that only plays in the fourth quarter, in my opinion, he don't play all four quarters. As a point guard to me, he doesn't. And he's not much of a playmaker, in my opinion. He's more of a scoring point guard, even though he only shows up in the fourth fucking quarter. But the times he do show up, sometimes he sometimes he has games. He'll, man, he put up points on your ass, and then he has the games that he just played fucking shitty as fuck. That dude is terrible. When he when he off one night when he's off he's fucking terrible. Like um that one game, 
I, what game was that? That was the fucking, um, shit. The Bulls game. No, the Grizzlies game. That dude was fucking terrible. Terrible. I'm talking about the second one. He couldn't do shit. He couldn't do shit. That game, the fucking, um, when we went against, damn, who else we went against? He ain't do shit on the fucking, <laughs> oh, the, the fucking, um, uh, Bobcats, not the Bobcats, but the Hornets, excuse me. When he played against the Hornets earlier in the season, man, he had, man, he had a shitty ass game. This dude haven't done shit, man, he... <laughs> Kimber Walker was schooling his ass. His defense is inconsistent, too. He, I don't think he got good defense, in my opinion. Like I said, when Reggie Jackson is off, he's really off. He's really terrible. Like, for real. He don't show up in the he don't show up in big games. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying about him. Now, this team as a whole, Stan Van Gundy. I know this is a young team, so I can kind of understand what, where they're making mistakes at. This is a young-ass Piston team. Probably one of the youngest teams in the NBA. But still, like, th this team, Stan Van Gundy, he be getting pissed off. Have you seen him in press conferences? That dude be getting mad as fuck. Mad as fuck. Like we lost against the Hornets. That dude was mad as shit. We lost against the Hornets. Like, the Pistons all year. This is what the Pistons do. This is their pattern. They'll beat the good teams, but they'll get their ass kicked by the shitty teams. They'll, like, they beat the Warriors and shit. They beat the fuck out of the Warriors. They pissed on that fucking team. And the Warriors got the best record in the NBA, and they beat the fucking Warriors. The Warriors only lost four games this season, and the Pistons beat the motherfuckers. They beat... They beat the Cavaliers like it was nobody's business. They beat the shit out of the Cavaliers. They beat the shit out of the Bulls. But, but they'll lose to the motherfucking, they'll lose to the goddamn Hort, the fucking Pelicans. The fucking Pelicans, though. They fucking garbage. They garbage. They suck. That team sucks, okay? The Pelicans are straight garbage. They'll lose to the fucking Pelicans and shit. The Phoenix Suns and shit. They'll lose to teams they had no business losing to. They lost to the Utah Jazz and shit. I mean, not to the Utah Jazz. They they actually beat them. Excuse me, not the Utah Jazz. But they, you get what I'm coming from with, with this shit. They'll lose to teams they had no business losing to. You know what I'm saying? They beat the teams they had no business beating. And they'll lose to the teams they had no business losing to. They, they've been doing this shit for years. They'll beat their fuck around, beat the Spurs and shit, the Warriors and shit, the goddamn Thunder and shit. Oh, yeah, by the way, Reggie Jackson didn't step up against the Thunder either. He ain't do shit against the Thunder. They smacked the fuck out of the Pistons that day. But anyway, as I was saying, man, this, this Pistons team, they, they got some bright spots, but they need to step it the fuck up, man. I'm tired of seeing this team... Only want to play in the fourth fucking quarter. Why we can't play all four quarters? We got to show up in the... We only show up the last five minutes in the fourth quarter. Get the fuck out of here. We'll be down fucking 14 points and shit. Then you want to start busting people ass. Come on now. Nah. Seriously. We have to struggle to come back and win the game and shit. You can't play like that if you want to be a playoff team. You cannot play like that. You can't always play behind. And then want to come back in the fourth quarter. You can't do that shit. We got to play all four quarters. We got to play better. We got th one thing about the Pistons. This is not a good shooting team. That's why, kind of why, we 23 and 21, even though we got to win the record, but we can win more games if we was a better shooting team. We don't have, we don't, we're not a good shooting team. And I don't know, Stan Van Gundy not creating shots for the players to get open shots. I don't know what it is. But they need to step the fuck up, in my opinion. Like seriously, I want this team to make it to the playoffs. One of my, one of my teams got to make it to the fucking playoffs. If the Lions don't do it, god damn it, the Pistons got to fucking do it. If the Pistons don't fucking do it, the goddamn Tigers got to fucking do it. But mainly the Pit, I want the Pistons to go to the fucking playoffs. I want to see them in the playoffs. I'm, 
I'm tired of seeing them out the playoffs. I want to see them in the playoffs. And they're in the seventh seed right now. So it's not it's not far fetched they can miss the playoffs right now. They only two games ahead of five hundred. So they gotta step their shit up in the second half of the season like real shit though. And that's it. Peace.